video covers, gable, or rake trim installation for an exposed fastener panel. In this video, we will cover required tools and supplies, preparation, gable trim at eave, gable trim at peak, overlapping gable trim, and fastening gable trim. Ready to start your project? Save 15 to 50% on your materials with our manufacturer direct pricing. Details in the description below. Tools required. Metal cutting snips, hand seamer, carpenter's pencil, roofing gloves, caulking gun, silicone sealant, we recommend Novaflex silicone, protractor, speed square, sliding T-bevel, combination square, double-sided butyl tape, and a quarter by 7 8 inch metal-to-metal -metal lap screw with sealant washer. Preparation. When measuring the gable trim for your roof, do not forget to account for overhang of roofing panels. Three inches is needed for overlaps, and a minimum of one inch is needed for ridge preparation. Prior to preparing the gable trim, you will need to know the pitch of your roof. On a piece of gable trim, align your speed square based on the pitch of your roof and mark the angle on the plastic coating. Next, lock in the drawn angle to your T-bevel. This angle will be needed to prepare various sections of gable trim. At the eave ends of the gable, make a 3 inch mark as shown here. Make a 1 inch mark on the top side of your gable trim. Using your T-bevel, which was previously locked to the pitch angle of your roof, mark a line on the drip side of your gable to the 3 inch mark. Using your combination square, mark a 45 degree line along the drip side of your gable. Make a 1 inch mark on the top side of your gable. Connect the mark to your 1 inch top side mark as shown here. This will act as a stiffener for the gable. Using your snips, begin cutting outer outline as shown here. Using your hand seamer, fold the one inch tab downwards 90 degrees. Here is an example of the final end piece. The 45 degree hem cut should line up with the eave trim's 45 degree hem. The folded flap should fall flush with the roof panel. Repeat this process for the opposite side of the roof. For proper eave trim preparation, watch our eave trim installation video on our channel. If you find these videos helpful, please support our page by hitting the like button and subscribing. Gable trim at ridge. Mark the top side of gable one inch. Using your previously locked T-bevel, draw a line from the one inch mark inwards towards the drip edge. Mark a parallel line at the one inch mark as shown here. Make a 90 degree mark at the drip edge and across to edge of gable. Using your snips, cut away at the outer outline as shown in red. Notch cut the top side of gable as shown here. Cut a one inch notch at the hem of gable. A screwdriver can be used to pry open hems, which will make cutting easier. Using your hand seamer, bend top side tab downwards to the angle of your roof. Mark the top side of gable one inch. Using your previously locked T-bevel, draw a line from the 1-inch mark inwards towards the drip edge. Make a 90-degree mark at the drip edge 
Using your snips, cut away at the outer outline as shown in red. Using your hand seamer, bend top side tab downwards to the angle of your roof. Before fastening, apply silicone sealant to the gable as shown. Gable should be overlapped 3 inches. When overlapping gable, start by marking both hems 3 inches from the edge. Using a screwdriver, pry open both hems at the 3 inch mark. Using your snips, remove both hems and drip edge of gable at the 3 inch mark. Slightly pry open the hems of the adjacent piece of gable. This will allow notched piece to slide in smoothly. Apply caulking 1 inch to the notched side of the gable. The caulking side of gable should underlap the second piece of gable as shown. Clean off any excessive silicone sealant. Fastening. Prior to fastening, remove all protective plastic. A thin strip butyl sealant tape should be placed parallel to the gable along the high seam of the roofing panel as shown here. Fasten the gable with 1 quarter by 7 8 inch metal to metal lap screws, 12 inches on center, hitting the high seam of roof corrugation. Additional screws should be placed 12 inches on center of the face, staggered from the screws on the roofing panel. Make sure to not put screws 12 inches from gable peak as the ridge cap will be placed in this area. Ready to start your project? Save 15 to 50% on your materials with our manufacturer direct pricing. For instructional videos, tips, and product samples, visit our learning center. Details in the description below.